page 603. Introduction 1.1 Project in our syllabus. In the new syllabus prescribed by West Bengal Council for Higher Secondary Education, project work has been included as a part of course content. In class 11, three topics have been selected. 1. Dramatization of a story. 2. Extension of a story. 3. Writing an autobiography. Out of the three topics, we chose the first topic, dramatization of a story, as our project. 1.2 Objectives We will be able to 1. Dramatize the characters, setting and events in a story. 2. Write dialogues to retell the story as a play. 3. Add elements of drama to the flow of events. 4. Improve our language skills. 1.3 Resources Textbook containing stories in the resource. 1.4 Guiding Principles 1. A narrative can be transformed into dramatic form by adding elements of drama. 2. A story can be divided into different sections corresponding to a dramatic pattern. 3. Each section can be developed by giving dialogues to the characters. 4. Each dialogue should match the personality and role of the character. 1.5 Limitations 1. The time limit for the whole task is 10 periods. 2. We are not acquainted with drama as a genre of literature. Methods and Techniques 2.1 Introduction in this project, the whole task from selection of a story to performance through dramatization was conducted following a time-bound routine. Our teacher fixed up a schedule by breaking up the task into day-wise activities. We worked together in groups. An account of the collaborative activities along with methods and techniques are given in this section. 2.2 First Day on the first day, we, one, chose the story, comma, quote, Leela's Friend, unquote, by R.K. Narayan, which features clear scenes or episodes that can be dramatized. Two, began by reading the story aloud to the class. Three, wrote the following headings on the board, setting, comma, characters, comma, and events. Say, four. Printing mistake. Identify the different settings and characters in the story. 5. Reviewed the main events of the story. 2.3. Second day. On the second day, we, one, began by writing, quote, scene one, colon, dash, unquote, on the board and filling in the blank with what happened first in the story. Thought about the setting and characters involved in the scene. 2. Divided the story into scenes and gave a heading to all of the scenes. Discussed setting and characters for each. 2.4. Third day. On the third day, we, one, formed groups. Each group was assigned a scene. We wrote out the scenes using speech and movement. 2. Performed within the group and the rest thought about ways to refine the plot by modification of dialogue or movement. 3. Made changes in the script. 4. Rehearsed the play for further improvement. 2.5. Fourth day. On the fourth day, we, one, developed a draft script following the instructions of our teacher. 2. Included a narrator for binding different parts of the play into a coherent whole. 2.6. Fifth day. On the fifth day, we, one, distributed copies of the draft script to each group and asked them to go through the script together. 2. Reviewed every scene, its dialogues and physical setting. 3. Recorded the agreed dialogue. Page 604. 2.7. Sixth day. 1. 
roles were assigned through trials and the best one was chosen for performing a particular role. Two selected students were asked to read out or act out their part. Three, the dialogue was fine-tuned if required. Four, other students were assigned some duties such as adding music, arranging the stage, monitoring the activities, preparing props, etc. 2.8 Seventh Day 1, a director was selected for conducting rehearsal. 2. The copy of the script was given to each student. Rehearsal started. 2.9 Eighth Day 1 Rehearsal without script. 2.10 Ninth Day 1 Stage performance. 2.11 1 2.11 Tenth Day Evaluation 1 We submitted the project report for evaluation. Output of the project. The end product of this collaborative project work is the dramatized version of the story. The script we developed out of the story is a rough draft. We modified it during rehearsal and performance. The script is given below. Dramatization of the short story Leela's Friend. Original text Arkinarayan. Characters Leela. Five year old girl, Mr. Shiva Shankar, Leela's father, Mrs. Shiva Shankar, Leela's mother, Siddha, servant, police inspector, constable, narrator. Place, house of Mr. Shiva Shankar. Script, scene one, narrator. <coughs> Mr. Shiva Shankar is a middle-aged man. His family comprises his wife and their five-year-old daughter, Leela. He works in an office. The only problem he now faces is the problem of appointing a good and reliable servant for household work and looking after his beloved daughter. Bracket. Mr. Shiva Shankar stands in the front veranda of his house. He is brooding over the problem of finding a servant. A young man named Siddha enters, bracket closed, Siddha. Standing outside, Sir, do you want a servant? Mr. Shiva Shankar, come in. Siddha opens the gate and comes in. Mr. Shiva Shankar looks at Siddha carefully. Mr. Shiva Shankar, Thinks, not bad, doesn't seem to be a bad sort, dot dot dot, looks tidy. Aloud, where were you before? What's your name? Siddha, indicating a vague place in a bungalow there in the doctor's house. And I am Siddha, master. Shiva Shankar, what is the good doctor's name? Siddha, I don't know, master. He lives near the market. Shiva Shankar, why did they send you away? Siddha, they left the town master. Leela's mother comes to the veranda and looks at Siddha. Shiva Shankar, oh, Leela's mother, this fellow is looking for work. Mrs. Shiva Shankar, he doesn't seem to me worse than the others we have had. Leela, their five-year-old daughter, comes, looks at Siddha and begins to dance in joy. Leela, oh father, I like him. Don't send him away. Let us keep him in our house. Page 605. Shiva Shankar, that's decided then, Siddha. Do you want to serve here? Your duties include washing clothes, tending the garden, running errands, chopping wood, etc. But the most important duty is to look after Leela. In return, you will get two meals a day and four rupees a month. Do you agree? Siddha, yes, sir. Script, scene two, narrator. Siddha is now the new servant to the family of Mr. Shiva Shankar. He is Leela's companion. His company makes Leela supremely happy. Whenever Leela calls him, Siddha, dropping his work, runs to her. In the front garden, Leela stands with a red ball in her hand. Leela, Siddha, come and play. Siddha, 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 hurrying to her. Here I am, let's play. 
She flings the ball at him and he flings it back. It goes on. Leela, all of a sudden, now throw the ball to the sky. Siddha, let me try. He clutches the ball, closes his eyes for a second and throws it up. Then the ball comes down again. Now this has touched the moon and come. You see here a little bit of the moon sticking. Leela, keenly examining the ball. I don't see it. Siddha, you must be very quick about it. Otherwise, it will all evaporate and go back to the moon. Now hurry up. He covers the ball tightly with his fingers and allows her to peep through a little gap. Leela, ah yes, I see the moon. But is the moon very wet? Siddha, certainly it is. Leela, what is in the sky, Siddha? Siddha, God. Leela, if we stand on the roof and stretch our arms, can we touch the sky? Siddha, not if we stand on the roof here, but if you stand on a coconut tree, you can touch the sky. Leela, have you done it? Siddha, yes, many times. Whenever there is a big moon, I climb a coconut tree and touch it. Leela, does the moon know you? Siddha, Yes, very well. Now come with me. I'll show you something nice. They stand near the rose plant. Siddha, pointing to the moon. You see the moon there, don't you? Leela, yes. Siddha, now come with me. He takes her to the backyard and stops near the well and points up. Look, the moon is here too. Leela, the moon is here. It was there. How is it? Claps her hands and screams in wonder. Siddha, I have asked it to follow us about. Leela runs into her mother. Leela, mother, mother, Siddha knows the moon. Narrator, at dusk, Siddha carries her in and she holds a class for him. She has a box filled with catalogues, illustrated books and stumps of pencils. She now plays the role of a teacher. It gives her great joy. Leela makes Siddha squat on the floor with a pencil between his fingers and a catalogue in front of him. She has another pencil and a catalogue. Leela, commandingly, now write, copy the letters and the drawings I have made. Siddha sticks his tongue out and copies with stiff fingers. Page 606. Leela examining his effort. Is this now I have drawn the crow? Is this how I have written B? Pitying him. Try again. You can do this. She redoubles her efforts to teach him. She takes his hands in hers and tries to frame the lines. Siddha seeking relief. I think your mother is calling you for dinner. Leela drops the pencil and runs out of room and the school hour comes to an end. Script, scene 3. Narrator. After dinner, Leela runs to her bed. Siddha is there by her side to tell her stories. He sits on the floor near the bed. Leela. Siddha, tell me a new story. Siddha. About what? Leela. About a monster. Siddha, once they lived a monster in the jungle. Leela, is this a huge animal? Siddha, yes, a very big animal. Leela, what does the animal eat? Siddha, the monster is a man-eater. Leela, it's not a good story. Tell me a story about a magician. Siddha, there was a magician. Leela, what's his name? Siddha, his name is Jadu Raj. Leela, what could he do? Siddha, he could turn a cat into a tiger. Leela, this is not good. A very bad magician. Tiger Skeel, tell me another story, a new one. A story of a princess, a tiger, a magician, a man-eater, a monster. Leela sleeps and now Siddha is free. Script, scene 4. Narrator. Day by day, Leela clings closer to Siddha. She insists upon having his company in all her waking hours. 
She is at his side when he is working in the garden or chopping wood and accompanies him with when he is sent on errands. One evening Siddha goes to buy sugar and Leela goes with him. They come back when they enter the house. Leela's mother notices that the gold chain Leela has been wearing is missing. Mr. Shivashankar staring at her. Where's your chain? Leela touches her neck, the hair at the back. She looks into her shirt. Leela, I don't know. Mr. Shivashankar giving her a slap. How many times have I told you to take it off and put it in the box? Shouts, Siddha, Siddha. Siddha comes in. She throws a glance at him and thinks the fellow looks queer. Where is the chain? Where have you kept it? Siddha with a dry throat. I don't know, madam. Mrs. Shivashanka shouts, Bring the chain or I'll call the police. She turns to go back to the kitchen for a moment because she has left something in the oven. Leela, give me some sugar, mother, I'm hang hungry. Siddha exits. Mr. Shivashankar, Siddha, Siddha. Siddha has already vanished into thin air. Page 607, script, sin 5, narrator. Mr. Shivashankar comes home an hour later. He learns everything from his wife. He grows very excited over all this. So he goes to the police station and lodges a complaint. Once again, it is bedtime. After meal, Leela refuses to go to bed. Leela, I won't sleep unless Siddha comes and tells me stories. I don't like you, mother. You are always abusing and worrying, Siddha. What are you why are you so rough, mother? But he has taken away your chain, Leela. Let him. It doesn't matter. Tell me a story. Mother, attempting to make her lie down on her lap. Sleep, sleep. Leela, tell me a story, mother. It is utterly impossible for Mrs. Shiva Shankar to think of a story now. Her mind is disturbed. She can only think of the chain. Mother whispers distractedly, It is God's mercy that the villain has not killed the child for the chain. Turning to Leela, Sleep, Leela, sleep. Leela, can't you tell the story of the elephant? Mother, no. Leela makes a noise of deprecation. Leela, why should not Siddha sit in our chair, mother? Mother does not answer the question. Silence for a moment. Leela, Siddha is gone because he wasn't allowed to sleep inside the house like us. Why should he always be made to sleep outside the house, mother? I think he is angry with us, mother. She turns on her side, falling asleep. Mr. Shiva Shankar enters. What a risk we took in engaging that fellow. It seems he is an old criminal. He has been in jail half a dozen times for stealing jewellery for children. From the description I gave, the inspector was able to identify him in a moment. Mr. Shivashankar, where is he now? Mr. Shivashankar, the police know his haunts. They will pick him up very soon, don't worry. The inspector was furious that I didn't consult him before employing him. Script, Scene 6, Narrator Four days later, Siddha is now in the hands of the police. Mr. Shiva Shankar is at home from office hours. A police inspector and a constable bring in Siddha. Siddha stands with bowed head. Seeing Siddha, Leela is overjoyed. Leela, running towards Siddha. Siddha, Siddha, inspector, stopping her. Don't go near him. Leela, why not? Inspector, he is a thief. He has taken away your gold chain. Leela, let him. I will have a new chain. All of them laugh. Mr. Shiva Shankar, why have you taken the chain? Where is the chain? Tell me what have you done with the chain? Mr. Shiva Shankar, Siddha, you are so ungrateful. You are a devil. Tears roll down Siddha's cheek. Siddha, very feebly looking at the ground, I have not taken it. Mrs. Shiva Shankar, why did you run away without telling us? There is no answer. Leela's face becomes red. Leela, 
Oh, policeman, leave him alone. I want to play with him. Inspector, my dear child, he is a thief. Page 608, Leela, la, haughtily, let him be. Inspector to Siddha, what a devil you must be to steal a thing from such an innocent child. Even now it is not too late, return it. I will let you off, provided you promise not to do such a thing again. Mr. and Mrs. Shiva Shankar agreeably, return it now, no harm will be done to you. Leela, feeling disgusted with the whole business, leave him alone, he hasn't taken the chain. Inspector, humorously, you are not at all a reliable prosecution witness, my child. Leela screams, he hasn't taken it. Mr. Shiva Shankar, baby, if you don't behave, I'll be very angry with you. Inspector to the constable, take him to the station. I think I'll have to sit with him tonight. The constable takes Siddha by the hand and returns to go. Leela runs behind him. Leela crying, don't take him, leave him here. She clings to Siddha's hand. He looks at her mutely like an animal. Mr. Shiva Shankar carries Leela back into the house. Leela is in tears. Script, scene 7, narrator. Every day when Mr. Shiva Shankar comes home, he is asked by his wife about the jewellery. Leela inquires of Siddha. Mrs. Shiva Shankar, are uh, any news of the chain? Leela, where is Siddha? Mr. Shiva Shankar, they will have him in the lockup, though he is very stubborn and won't say anything about it. Mrs. Shiva Shankar, with a shiver, what a rough fellow he must be. Mr. Shiva Shankar, oh, these fellows who have been in jail once or twice lose all fear. Nothing can make them confess. Narrator, a few days later, putting her hand into the tamarind pot in the kitchen, Lila's mother picks up a chin. She takes it to the tap and washes off the coating of tamarind on it. It is unmistakably Leela's chain. She goes to Leela to show the chain to her mother. Look at the chain. Leela, it's mine. Give it here. I want to wear the chain. Mother, how did it get into the tamarind part? Leela, somehow. Mother, did you put it in? Leela, yes, mother. Mother, when? Leela, long ago the other day. Mother, why didn't you say so before? Leela, I don't know. Script, scene 8, narrator. At night, when Mr. Shiva Shankar comes back, his wife tells him how the chain was discovered. Mr. Shiva Shankar, the child must not have any chain hereafter. Didn't I tell you that I saw her carrying it in the hand once or twice? She must have dropped it into the pot some time, and all this bother on account of her. Mrs. Shiva Shankar, what about Siddha? Mr. Shiva Shankar, I'll tell the inspector tomorrow. In any case, we couldn't have kept a criminal like him in the house. Page 609, Conclusion 4.1, Present Value The project we undertook was completed within the scheduled time limit. After completing the project, we have learned the following 1. How to transform a story rich in dramatic elements into a successful play. 2. How to make the play lively by adding suitable dialogue. 3. The utility of stage performance in learning the target language. 4. How to enjoy group work. 5. How to develop essential skills such as collaboration, communication and critical thinking. 6. How to use language in context. 7. The importance of tone and modulation in speech. 8. The importance of body language or gesture in communication. 9. Importance of the setting, dialogue, music and props in a drama. 10. How to develop our skills in a happy, non-threatening environment. 4.2. Future. The product of this particular project will help others in the following way. 1. They will get a ready script to be enacted. 2. They will be able to modify the script to make it more lively. 
3. They can form an idea about dramatization of a story. 4. They will be encouraged to take up other stories for dramatization. 5. They will be able to use the script in learning the English language effectively. References Bulton, Marjorie, The Anatomy of Drama, Indian Reprint, Kalyani Publishers, 1985. Horn B. A. S. Oxford Advanced Learners Dictionary, 8th edition, OUP 2010. National Curriculum Framework, NCERT 2005. O. Shia, S. H. E. A. Kama, Catherine, and Egan, E. G. A. N. Kama, Margaret, Cologne. A Primer of Drama Techniques for Teaching Literature. National Council of Teachers of English, 1978. Naganathan, Ramanujam, Kolan. Project Work to Promote English Language Learning, British Council, 2011. Mindscapes, WBCHAC. A Textbook of English, within bracket B, comma, WBCHAC. Page 610. Extension of a story. Extension of a story. Extension means the act of expanding in scope. Therefore, extension of a story suggests expanding a story in scope. Whoever attempts to extend a story has to begin where the original story ends. The plot of the story is extended further to reach a conceivable end. As imagination is the main resource for the activity, one has to think in keeping with the character's plot and theme of the original story. A twist may occur in the plot, but it must be linked to the original story. Golpir Prosharon Extensioner Ortholo Bisrito Kora Ba Prosharito Kora Shejo no extension of a story bolte Golpir Prosharon ke bojai. যে একটি গল্পকে প্রসারিত করবে তাকে মূল গল্প যেখানে শেষ হয়েছে সেখান থেকে শুরু করতে হবে গল্পের প্লট অন্য একটি সহজবদ্ধ সমাপ্তির জন্য প্রসারিত করা হয় যেহেতু কল্পনা এখানে কর্মসম্পাদনের মূল উৎস সেজন্য মূল গল্পের চরিত্র প্লট এবং বিষয়বস্তুর সঙ্গে সম্পর্ক রেখে চিন্তা করতে হবে গল্পের প্লটে হঠাৎই কোনো পরিবর্তন ঘটতে পারে তবে তাকে অবশ্যই মূল কাহিনীটির সঙ্গে সম্পর্কিত হতে হবে স্ট্রাকচার অফ এ স্টোরি শর্ট স্টোরি ডেফিনিশন অফ শর্ট স্টোরি আ শর্ট স্টোরি ইজ আ ব্রিফ অফ প্রোজ ফিকশন ইউজুয়ালি ন্যারেটিভ ইন ফর্ম অ্যান্ড মেড আপ অফ এ সিরিজ অফ ইনসিডেন্টস রিলেটেড টু আ সেন্ট্রাল সিচুয়েশন The situation, it is a preliminary introduction that gives the information necessary for a reader of the story. The situation may provide the setting of the story, present the main characters and plunge directly into the action. The generating circumstances. It is the episode or event that causes the rising action and starts the train of events. The rising action, it indicates all the incidents that follow the generating circumstance and precede the climactic scene. The events are linked by the cause and effect principle and all lead to the approaching climax. The climax, it is the scene of highest interest or greatest emotional intensity. At the climax, the action of the story reaches a balancing point from which it will take one turn or another. The denouement, D-E-N-O-U-E-M-E-N-T, it is the resolution of the complication that has been created in the story for suspense and surprise. গল্পের কাঠামো ছোট গল্প ছোট গল্পের সংজ্ঞা ছোট গল্প একটি সংক্ষিপ্ত গদ্য রচনা যা সাধারণভাবে গল্প বলার রীতিতে রচিত এবং যা একটি কেন্দ্রীয় অবস্থাকে ঘিরে ঘটনা প্রবাহ সংবলিত 
সন্ধিক্ষণ এটি একটি প্রাথমিক পরিচিতি যা পাঠক বা পাঠিকাকে গল্প সম্পর্কে ধারণা দেয় সন্ধিক্ষণ গল্পের অবস্থানকে নির্দেশ করে মূল চরিত্রগুলিকে তুলে ধরে এবং সরাসরি ঘটনা প্রবাহের দিকে দ্রুত এগিয়ে যায় কাহিনী সূচনার পরিবেশ এটি সেই উপাখ্যান বা ঘটনা যেটি কাহিনীর অগ্রগতি ঘটায় এবং তাকে ঘটনাবহুল করে তোলে ঘটনা প্রবাহের উত্থান এটি সেই সমস্ত ঘটনাকেই নির্দেশ করে যেগুলি কাহিনীর সূচনার সময়কালের অবস্থাকে অনুসরণ করে এবং চূড়ান্ত পর্যায়ের আগে ঘটে থাকে ঘটনাগুলি কার্যকারণ সম্পর্কে রীতিতে সংযুক্ত এবং এই সবই ঘটনা প্রবাহের চূড়ান্ত পর্যায়ের দিকে সন্নিবিষ্ট চরম পরিণতি এই দৃশ্য সবচেয়ে আকাঙ্ক্ষিত এবং তীব্র আবেগপূর্ণ চরম পরিণতিতে গল্পের ঘটনা প্রবাহ একটি ভারসাম্যমূলক অবস্থায় অবস্থান করে যেখান থেকে ঘটনা প্রবাহ যে কোনো দিকে মোড় নিতে পারে গল্পের রহস্য উন্মোচন উৎকণ্ঠা এবং বিস্ময়ের জন্য গল্পে যে জটিলতা তৈরি হয় তারই উন্মোচন হয় এখানে হাউ টু এক্সটেন্ড আ স্টোরি উই ক্যান এক্সটেন্ড দ্যাট স্টোরি বাই ওয়ে অফ টেকিং ইন টু অ্যাকাউন্ট দ্য টেক্সট ওর বাই গোয়িং বিয়ন্ড বট হ্যাপেন্স ইন দ্য স্টোরি ওয়ান বিয়ন্ড দ্য স্টোরি অ্যাক্টিভিটিস নিউ এন্ডিং রাইট আ নিউ এন্ডিং ফর দ্য স্টোরি চেঞ্জ দ্য এন্ড অফ দ্য স্টোরি উইথ এনি পসিবল কনক্লুশন আদার দ্যান দ্য অরিজিনাল ওয়ান জাস্টিফাই ওয়াই সাচ এন এন্ডিং মে বি বিফিটিং ফর দ্য স্টোরি Beyond the end, take up the end of the original story as the beginning of a new story. 2. Miscellaneous extension activities. Writing a copycat story. Rewriting the story as a picture book. Galpet prasharan padhuti. Galpetir bhitti te ba galpet ghatonar baire giyo ghatonar prabaho ke aamra egiye niye jete pari. A. Galpo bohir bhuto kaj. নতুন উপসংহার স্ল্যাশ পরিণতি নির্বাচিত গল্পটির জন্য নতুন উপসংহার পরিণতি লেখো উপসংহারটি পরিবর্তনের কারণ ব্যাখ্যা করো অর্থাৎ গল্পটি যেভাবে শেষ হয়েছে তার থেকে অন্য কোনো পরিসমাপ্তি ঘটা সম্ভব কিনা তা যুক্তিসহ উপস্থাপন করো শেষের পরে মূল গল্পের শেষাংশটিকে একটি নতুন গল্পের সূচনা হিসাবে কল্পনা করো দুই বিবিধ সম্প্রসারণমূলক কার্যাবলী গল্পের অনুকরণে একটি গল্প রচনা করা গল্পটিকে একটি ছবির বই হিসেবে পুনর্লিখন পেজ সিক্স ওয়ান পেজ সিক্স ওয়ান ওয়ান আ প্রজেক্ট রিপোর্ট অন এক্সটেনশন অফ এ স্টোরি এন্টাইটেল কারমা বাই খুশবন সিং পেজ সিক্স ওয়ান টু A project report submitted by name of the student Onirban Biswas, roll number 125, registration number 2203748.56, in partial fulfillment to class 11 English course, KK Hindu Academy, Damdam, North 24 Parganas, 201819, Bonafide Certificate, Certificate. This is to certify that this project report entitled Extension of Kushwan Singh's short story Karma by Anirban Bishash class 11 roll number 125 registration number 2203748.56 submitted in partial fulfillment to class 11 English course group B during the academic year 201819 is a bona fide record of work carried out under my guidance and supervision signature of the project guide with date name amor shen gupta designation assistant teacher department english school kk hindu academy damdam north 24 parganas Page 614. Acknowledgement. A-C-K-N-O-W-L-E-D-G-E-M-E-N-T. The project, comma, extension of Kushwan Singh's short story, Karma, has provided me with ample scope of learning through collaborative activity. 
I consider myself fortunate to have worked under Mr. Amor Shen Gupta, whose support made my project-based learning quite joyful. I am grateful to him. Para. Mr. Shubhomoy Mazumdar has rendered important suggestions for the improvement of the project work. I cannot help acknowledging his contribution with gratitude. Para. I would like to thank Mr. Chondon Boshak for his precise suggestions which were very conducive to the accomplishment of the project work. Para, I owe my gratitude to Mr. Anunta Ghosh for his continuous support. Para, and I am also grateful to my friends and my parents who have helped me to complete the project work. Signature of the student, name Onirban Vishash. Page 615, Table of Contents. Introduction, Methods and Techniques. Output of the Project. Conclusion. References. Page 616. Introduction. 1.1. Project in our syllabus. The West Bengal Council for Higher Secondary Education has included the project work in the new syllabus of English as mandatory. The project work is to be written within 2000 to 2500 words. In class 11, the three topics which have been selected for the project work are as follows. 1. Dramatization of a story. 2. Extension of a story. 3. Writing an autobiography. Out of the three topics, we chose the second extension of a story as our project. 1.2 Objectives 1. We will be able to develop our creative imagination. 2. We learn how to extend a story following the end of a particular story as the beginning. 3. We learn how to portray different characters and to arrange events coherently. 4. We learn how experience can be transformed to art. 1.3 Resources The prescribed textbook that contains stories is the resource. 1.4 Guiding Principles 1. Extension of the story depends on the realization of the characters and events. 2. Creative imagination is of course very crucial in the extension of the story. 3. Reading habit helps one to extend the story because rich experience is conducive to this kind of project work. 4. Character portrayal is very important. A flat character may become a round one in keeping with the events of the story. 5. Rearrangement of the sequence of events may be needed to establish unity with the new, new end. 6. The story which has been an extended one must end meaningfully. 1.5 Limitations 1. Time for the whole project work is limited. 2. We have not read many stories written in English. 3. At times we lack expressions because English is not our mother tongue. 4. The structure of the short story are not known to us quite clearly. Methods and Techniques 2.1 Introduction There are some definite steps in the making of the project. Extension of a story. We have chosen a suitable story for the project. Our teacher has provided us with the routine of DIY's activities. Only 10 periods have been fixed for the whole task. We have worked in groups. An account of the collaborative activities along with methods and techniques are given in this chapter. 2.2 First Day 1. We chose Kushwan Singh's short story Karma for the project extension of a story. 2. We read out the story aloud in the class. 3. We studied the characters, especially the characters of Sir Mohan and his wife, very carefully. 4. We came to know about the prejudice and snobbery of Sir Mohan. 
in the extension of the story his disposition is essential 5 we learn the background of the story historical perspective was no doubt crucial india was then under british rule and we realize that we could focus on it in the extension of the story 6 we were asked to review the main events of the story 2.3 second day on the second day we began writing quote paragraph 1 colon dash unquote on the board and filling in the blank with what happened first in the extension of the story we thought about the setting and characters involved in the narrative in this way we divided the story into some events which would be narrated in specific paragraphs 2.4 third day one we formed groups each group was assigned to write a particular paragraph in the development of the story two we read out the narrative and discussed enough to change the structures and words in order to present the story more convincingly three we wrote the dialogues on the board for modification four we repeated the same activity of modification and rectification for improvement 2.5 fourth day one we developed a manuscript following the instructions of our teacher two our teacher asked us to read the manuscript once again page 617 2.6 fifth day one copies of the manuscripts were distributed to each group and they were asked to read the narrative once again they were also asked to give their suggestions to make the story more coherent two we reviewed every situation dialogue and the character portrayal in keeping with the new suggestions three we decided to make the extension more concise 2.7 6th day one each group made necessary changes and submitted the manuscript 2.8 7th day one we read out every manuscript 2.9 8th day one we worked together to write the final manuscript 2.10 9th day one we read aloud the final extension of the story 2.11 10th day evaluation one finally we submitted the project report for evaluation output of the project the collaborative project work has resulted in the extension of a story we have developed the script by working in groups extension of the story karma k a r m a original text kushwan singh para 1 sir mohan stood on the platform in a benumbed state of mind what he felt was only humiliation and it seemed that he could see nothing in spite of the dazzling light of the station and could hear nothing except those words comma quote keep your ruddy mouth shut unquote exclamation unconsciously he touched his face where the british soldier jim had struck him flat he could not accept that those bloody ruffians had really flung him out of the train quote oh how shameful unquote sir mohan mumbled and sat on the suitcase carelessly as if he had lost interest in his life he covered his face with his two hands and began to remember the whole event that had happened in his life as a nightmare quote sir what happened question mark unquote someone said to sir mohan para it was that kuli who had assisted lady lal the ignorant and rustic wife of sir mohan being proud of his close affinity with the british culture sir mohan had always ignored her sir mohan stared at the kuli and felt indignation and therefore he pretended as if he did not hear him para the kuli said comma quote 
the last train has already passed. It is not safe to stay here with your large suitcase and the bedding stop uncut para. <coughs> the coolie realized that the man was quite rich and thus he tried to warm, warn him. But Sir Mohan, who often travelled in the first class compartment, did not want to talk to that lower class man quite freely. In spite of his bitter experience because of the blind imitation of British people and their culture, he tried to retain his prejudice once again against a native Indian who was inferior to him in every aspect. Para. But the coolie was rather stubborn. He repeated, Kama, quote, Sir, Kama, don't see tears. What has happened to you? Question mark. Are you ill? Question mark, unquote. Para. Sir Mohan looked around. The platform had become bare. The stalls were being closed one after another. Everyone was busy to return home. A mongrel was staring at him rather vaguely. He could see some people, a type completely unknown to him, talking loudly as if they would rule the station at night. Para. <coughs> Those people who were five in number came to Sir Mohan and stood in front of him, giving the impression that they could do anything at any moment. One of them said in a gruff voice, comma, quote, We hate the British. They have been taking away everything from us. But you seem to be fond of them. Dressed like an Englishman too, unquote, para, quote. You must admit the superiority of their culture, unquote, comma, Sir Mohan protested in his Oxford accent. All of them burst into a laughter. One of them giggled and said, comma, quote, That's why you were flung out of the train. Culture indeed, unquote. Sir Mohan put up with the insult helplessly. When the coolie interfered with them, saying pleadingly, Please leave this gentleman, they went away. Sir Mohan then realized that the coolie knew them well and that he was a good sort of man, though he was quite shabby in appearance. Para. Sir Mohan said to the coolie, comma, quote, Where could I take shelter for the night? I'll board the train early in the morning, stop, unquote. Para. The coolie shook his head, which meant that Sir Mohan would not find any shelter adjacent to the station. But he shouldered the bedding and said, comma, quote, If you don't mind, come with me, dot, dot, dot. I have a little cottage over there, stop, unquote. Para. Sir Mohan, rather confused by the events of day, didn't think of refusing the offer of the coolie, though he had the same resentment towards him as he had for his wife, Lachmi. He had no choice but to follow the plebeian because, page 618, he wanted to spend the night in some safe place. He realized that his snobbery and Oxford accent would not save him from those vulgar people living in the station at night. Para. Having entered the little cottage, Sir Mohan felt quite at home. A small but clean room was shown to him. He was given fresh water for his ablutions. Bread, sufficient boiled onions and spinach were given to him as dinner. He ate all that stuff rather voraciously because he was very hungry. The coolie's wife served him food, cleaned his bed and did what her husband asked her to do. Para. Sir Mohan heard the sweet exchange of husband and wife. He then remembered his wife whom he neglected as she was a simple and rather unaccomplished Indian woman. He could not sleep though he closed his eyes. He thought of the simple but happy life of that poor family. They were not educated like him. They could not speak in English. They ardently hated the British, the rulers, yet they had big hearts. He asked the coolie, comma, quote, why have you helped me? Question mark, unquote, para. The coolie sat on the floor and said in a low voice, comma, 
I had seen you today approaching the first class coach while your wife, comma, who is very simple, comma, had asked me to help her. She has found room in the Zanana, comma, and I hope her travel will be trouble free. Stop, unquote. Para. On hearing this, Sir Mohan sighed. For a while, his wife would reach the destination safely. He had been unable to manage room for himself in the train. And all because of the very people whom he had admired for so long, the British. Had he been wrong all this while? He turned to the coolie and said, comma, quote, What do you think about the British people living in India? Question mark, unquote, para. The coolie's eyes grew bright and he said firmly, comma, quote, They must quit India. Until they do so, we will rebel. We are followers of Gandhiji. Our rebellion will be through non-violence. We love our motherland. He taught us, stop, unquote, para. Lying on the hard court, Sir Mohan spent the night thinking how India had been enslaved by the British. He also thought of his rustic wife, the innocent coolie, those vulgar people on the platform and of those ruthless British soldiers who insulted his nation too. He realized he had been living in a fool's paradise, para. The sun rose, Sir Mohan boarded the train, bidding goodbye to the coolie and his family. The train began to speed and Sir Mohan, who had just become a follower of Gandhi during his stay at the coolie's heart, looked out through the window of the train and felt a strange lightness of heart for the first time. Was this freedom? Conclusion 4.1 Present Value the project we undertook was completed within the scheduled time limit. Having completed the project work, we have learned the following. 1. How to extend a short story coherently beginning with the end of the story chosen for the work. 2. How to make the story we extended lively by portraying the characters which are independently alive. 3. How to indulge in creative thinking so that we can exploit our imagination. 4. How to be candid in expression and precise in thoughts. 5. How to enjoy working together. 6. How to use language contextually. 7. How to transform a reading experience into a piece of art. 8. How to acquire English as second language. 4.2 Future. The particular project work will help others in the following ways. 1. They will get a ready script as an example of the said project work. 2. They will be able to rectify and modify the script so as to make it more apt. 3. They will learn how to do the project work, extension of a story. 4. They will find pleasure in extending other stories they have read. 5. They can use the script in order to acquire English as second language. References Bulton Marjorie, The Anatomy of Drama, Indian Reprint, Kalyani Publishers, 1985. Hornby A.S. Oxford Advanced Learners Dictionary, 8th edition, OUP 2010. National Curriculum Network, NCRT 2005. Oshia, Catherine and Egan, Margaret, a primer of drama techniques for teaching literature. National Council of Teachers of English, 1978. Naganathan Ramanujam, Project Work to Promote English Language Learning. British Council, 2011. Mindscapes, WBCHAC. A Textbook of English, B, WBCHAC. Page 619.